coming, maybe where folks thought they would be preseason. And so this year with loftier preseason expectations and a rugged non-conference slate, the Knolls are 9-3. and three. Yeah, a great non-conference schedule for the Florida State Seminoles. Knocked off uh, the Tennessee Lady Balls here earlier this season and uh, be a great matchup here this afternoon. And the Knolls come away with the opening tip. Omaria Gordon drives all the way to the bucket and lays it in. Great start for the Knolls. Omaria Gordon, the second leading scorer on this team as a junior, finally fully healthy and able to do some good things there to start the game for Florida State. This flashed a very high level. Coach Wyckoff saying the next step is really sustaining it throughout the course of the entire season. She's looked good already. Back the other way, Georgia Tech responds with Kara Dunn, who has battled injury over the last couple of seasons, now fully healthy herself and has been dynamite here in the month of December. Ty Latson getting things going from long range for Florida State. And Oles like to try to get those threes early and often. Latson getting things rolling for the North. Georgia Tech, a very strong rebounding team. Abusta Naito with the spin move now pulls up from the elbow. That is a smooth offensive foul by Tony Morgan. Back the other way comes Florida State. You mentioned Tucker. There she is on the turnaround. Nice looking shot. The transfer from UCSB in her fifth and final season. And then Florida State's last game against Alabama State came right out of the locker room in the second half and just blitzed Alabama State. Had 10 points in several minutes. And I mentioned Dunn being on a tear here in December. They've played five games in this month. She's averaged north of 20 points in them. Back-to-back -back buckets for her. Morgan down low, guarded by K.K. Timpson. Now here come the Knowles looking to run. Transition defense will be especially important for Georgia Tech. Pajetti with the Euro step couldn't get the lay in, and back come the Yellow Jackets. A nice dump down pass to Tony Morgan. Ooh, nifty little move there from Amaria Gordon. Back to Blackshear. Step back for Dunn. Here comes Sarah Bajetti looking to run. Foul call, and as you mentioned, has been the statistical leader in a variety of categories for Georgia Tech. She's scored in double digits in 11 of their 12 games this season. It's a big loss for the moment for Nell Fortner and the Yellow Jackets. Amaya Bonner trying to pick her way through traffic. Transfer from Cal. Bonner played in 21 games a season, roughly six or so minutes per game. This year, nearly four times as much as really seen some significant. Florida State, one of their last seven from the floor, they lead by five. That'd be an offensive foul. For the two for Nell Fortner and Georgia Tech. That added depth certainly going to be of extra importance here today. Nice move by Sarah Bajetti. Trying to get to the paint again. Couldn't quite get there. Time out to Nia Latson just flying in from out of nowhere. Swatting that basketball away. Florida State with the live ball turnover. Now looking to find a three from Bonner. Out halfway down for a mile. It's to tonight to try to create some space. Done. Left alone. Money. Florida State had been on a little 6-0 run, but Dunn ends that. She now has seven of the 11 for Georgia Tech. Jamari Gordon and KK Timpson all checking in for the Norse. Termos with the high-low look to Blackshear up off the glass and good. Viegas left alone in the corner. You can't do that. No, Fortner not happy about that one that her team didn't find Viegas in transition. Florida State now with three threes in the game. Meanwhile, Georgia Tech working down low with Blackshear. A couple of buckets for the player they called KB. And a steal for the Yellow Jackets, and they're off and running. Augusta Naita from the wing. Pull up jumper is good. Scored 30 points in the ACC-SEC Challenge against the Gators of Florida.
did a goose tonight to one of a couple of players for Georgia Tech to turn in a 30-point showing. Looking up top, Blackshear working down low through the double team will earn a trip. The free throw opportunities for Caleb Blackshear, the junior from Orlando, Florida, who transferred into the program from Alabama. Blackshear averaging about 13 points a game, nearly seven rebounds a game. Can't connect on the second one there. And the Bulls are off and running again. Maria Gordon down the lane. Fort Bate to Nia Latson with six. Grenade buckets for Maria Gordon. Nice roll. Bulls going to hold for one last shot here. Roughly a two second differential here between the shot clock and the game clock as Gordon brings it up for the Knolls. Gordon. All the way to the basket, too strong. Good look for the Knowles. Bonner got a hand in there. There will be no attempts for Georgia Tech. And Florida State will take a two-point lead in the second quarter. Good start for both teams. Florida State off a year where they surprised a lot of people. Now coming in with some of that experience and expectation. Georgia Tech, a much different team this year than they were last year. 9-3 and three in non-conference. This is an opportunity for them to really stake their claim early on in ACC play. And there is Caleb. Now here comes Florida State. Marion Gordon dishing it to KK Timson. Timson looking to spin, looking to score. Off the mark, though, trying to... It's just a little off balance there on that shot. Couldn't get it to fall. Oh, nice pass. And Blackshear, she's got five rebounds already. Great start for her. Nine points for Blackshear. Seven more for Kara Dunn. And a travel by Amaya Bonner. It worked for Georgia Tech especially, too, with the lead by two. And arguably their best player has been on the bench for more than half of the first quarter. Still has not come out here in the second quarter because she picked up two early fouls. With the big step back three. They extend the lead to five for the Yellow Jackets. Omari and Gordon with the mid-range jumper. Eight points for Omari and Gordon. Four of seven from the floor here through the first quarter and a couple of minutes here of the second. The boost tonight to now working on Sarah Bajetti. Turnaround over Bajetti, corralled by Tucker. Say that was the last touch by a yellow jacket, so Florida State maintains the ball. Tania Latson slashes. Term a step back three off the mark. Blackshear, second chance opportunity for the yellow jackets. Carter knifing her way through traffic and laying it in. First possession here for Florida State. Sarah Bajetti turns the corner. Switching on the ball screens brought the post player Sakai White up. Sarah Bajetti gets the post player, Thomas Harris, on the mismatch. Back the other way now comes Georgia Tech. Carter with the entry pass to Blackshoe. Blackshoe, jump hook off the glass. Five of six shooting for the junior from Orlando. Huge block. Watson was asking for a foul. to Blackshear. Left hand automatic at this point. She scored 10 or more in three of the previous four games coming into this one. Now you can make it four of the last five. And there's a traveling violation against Tucker. A cool off Kayla Blackshear. The ball's knocked away. Florida State turning over Georgia Tech for the fifth time. Latson up and under. Acrobatic. Latson gets the ball in the open floor except maybe hope that she misses. And she doesn't do that often. Blackshear out to Augusta Naita. Back into Blackshear. Turn around off the mark. Thomas Harris, what a great job. Yellow Jackets coming back down. Getting the ball to Kayla Blackshear at the free throw line. She doesn't make either of them, does Deasia Thomas Harris, a player who hails from Katy, Texas. Had a double-double against Rice back home. And there's Car over and back. Blackshear working down low. Thomas Harris lost it on the way up. And that'll be Florida State. Sharpshooter. She brings it up 
for the Knowles. KK Timson left all alone, driving to the back. 7 0 run over the last minute. Florida State out of that timeout, switched to that 2 3 zone. Florida Tech has had a little bit of trouble finding those open passing lanes. Blackshear in the middle of the zone, kicks it out to the wing and done and done. That'll work for the Yellow Jackets. A nice look inside out that time, touched the paint. Meanwhile, there's Florida State. Back and forth we go. One point lead now for the Knowles off the offensive glass. Dunn puts it back up. Timpson brings it down. Latson now pulling up from the elbow. Oh boy. Tonight, Coach Wyckoff described earlier today as a smart kid, high basketball IQ, and the ultimate competitor who gets upset after every miss and is quite simply on a mission to be great. Yeah, Villegas is one of those players that thinks every time she shoots the ball, it should go in. And I'll tell you what, and here is the sophomore guard for Florida State. Latson sending it in. Tamson and one. Get to the rim again there. As soon as she touched it, you could tell she was going to go up and finish through the contact. Tipson with a chance to increase Florida State's lead to three. She's on pace to have, it's early, but she is on pace to have a career year in terms of blocks, in terms of rebounds, in terms of steals, and the offensive numbers are right about where they were last year when she made the all-conference second team. And that foul goes on Aisha Won Aranaz, and that is now her second foul. So foul trouble mounting for the Yellow Jackets here early in this game. Augusta Naita off balance, lined it up pretty well though, it was short. Look, that looked good going in. It's just been that kind of half for Rusna. And now Florida State will dribble a few seconds off. There's a 10 second differential between shot clock and game clock here in the first half. Latson working with the basketball, pull up from beyond the free throw line, too strong. Augusta Naita clears the board. Bulls are six of the last seven from the floor. A bucket here would be huge for Georgia Tech. Just the second team foul. Either team has attempted very many free throws. Florida State, three of three from the free throw line. Georgia Tech just one of four from the line so far in this game. Thomas gets it over to Dunn. Dunn looking around the corner. Here's Blackshear, mid-range. Why not? Kayla Blackshear with a fantastic finish to an amazing first half of basketball for her. She's got 15 points. It'll be Florida State set to send it in. It'll be Alexis Tucker to do the honors as she sends it in to Omaria Gordon. The Knowles will operate first, now moving left to right. Latson driving to the basket, doing what she does. One way or the other, little flip pass from Omaria Gordon. Crossover there. Tania Latson gets to the rim, finishes through the contact for Florida State. Eight straight games with 10 or more points scored for Latson, trending towards 20. And if she gets there, which it certainly seems likely that she will, that would be four straight 20 point games for Latson, who, as you mentioned earlier in the show, Melissa, scored north of 30 in both games against Georgia Tech a season ago. Eight career 30 point games, two of which against the Yellow Jackets. For Tania Latson. Meanwhile, Georgia Tech operating in their half court set. Dunn driving into the paint with the right hand. Kara Dunn. I haven't talked about Kara Dunn as much, but she has 12 points on five of nine shooting for these Yellow Jackets. So she's put up some big numbers here already in this game as well. Latson with the mid range jumper and tried to score it over Tony Morgan. Morgan herself clearing the board for the Yellow Jackets. Blackshear into the paint, and that has been the move for her. Whether she's laid it in or floated it up, she has been tremendously effective there for Georgia Tech. The Seminoles have had to play with a little bit of a mismatch on Blackshear, as Alexis Tucker, the guard, is playing against the 6-1 post player. See if Florida State makes any adjustments here. Blackshear working on Timpson with the left hand, gets around her. Eclipsing that, and as you mentioned, Melissa, her career and season high came in the opener against Coastal Carolina. She scored 24 there. With 10 points, five of eight shooting from the floor, four assists as well. Morgan 
driving all the way to the basket has actually been at the free throw line. But that one looked good. She's a much better shooter than that from what we've seen here. Makes both. And just like that, we are tied again. Pajetti back out to the corner. Gordon driving baseline. Doubled by Augusta Naita and Morgan. Got it back to Bajetti. Bajetti knocked down. Is now 5 of 11 to match Georgia Tech's 5 of 11 from the three-point line. Sarah Bajetti averaging nearly 15 points per game in the month of December. That would be an ideal person to get heated up here in the second half of your floor. Who I mentioned having the conversation there with Tony Morgan. In it goes to Sarah Bajetti. 18 here for the Noles on the shot clock. Bajetti all the way down the lane. Wide open. Those have made each of their last three from the floor. Here's Johnson off the screen. Carter from the free throw line. Off the mark. Stick back attempt. That is no good. On third effort, Timson swats it. There's Timson, the block leader in the ACC, asserting herself. Yeah, a couple of offensive putback opportunities for the Yellow Jackets. They can't capitalize. Simpson, as I mentioned, block leader in the ACC, also top five in rebounding. Skied for that one. Latson gets the roll on the opposite end. And while Georgia Tech has not made any of their last five shots, Florida State has made four of theirs. Renata Naz, a player who's strong, physical down in the post for Georgia Tech. Morgan inside 10, up and over Bonner. That is short. Morgan one on one, forcing a difficult shot. Gordon, nice pass, Timson. 9 0 run over the last two minutes. KK Timson, who came alive really late in that second quarter, has been lighted up here in the third. Johnson mid range, no. Latson again inside, Timson turnaround short. Florida State on a 9 0 run over the last two and a half minutes. The largest lead of the game for the Seminoles. Not just in the ACC, but the entire country. Playing for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Been saddled with that foul trouble. Lead down to eight for Florida State. Amaria Gordon pulls up for three. That is off the mark. Timpson crashing in for the offensive rebound. And that pass nearly knocked away. In fact, it is. It goes to Georgia Tech and Blackshear. Blackshear dishing it out to Johnson, who lays it in in transition. Both of them like their chances if they get the opportunity, too. Bonner up top to Tucker. Tucker fouled by Blackshear. This will be something to keep an eye on here. Florida State, throughout the course of the season, has done a really nice job through their pace and space. Florida State, 5 of 5 from the line. So they've only been able to get there now six times. If they get fouled, they will head to the line. So a chance for FSU to maybe earn some points there. Augusta Knights, a step back three on the top of the key. That is no good and out of play. In this way, it gives Georgia Tech the opportunity to get back and set up in the half court. That did everything but drop for Tania Latson. Done. Picking her way to the basket. They're getting out in transition and getting the easy scoring opportunities. Tylo look for Timson. Turn around. Money. 11 in the game. And her teammates recognized that she had the mismatch as Sydney Johnson, the 5'9 senior guard, had gotten matched up on Timson. Timson able to score in the paint. Black shoot. Dishing it to Dunn. And Dunn gets the roll. Tucker, in and out. Wanted to throw the home run ball. Instead, she dishes it to Dunn on the wing. That is short. Florida State with a chance to run. Bonner heading downhill. In against Georgia Tech. Augusta Knight to the left open in the corner, and Florida State got away with that one. They definitely did, as that's not a player that you want to leave open in the corner. Latson. Back the other way, and Tania Latson has scored. Fresh 20 on the shot clock. Dunn gets it into Tony Morgan. Morgan, athletic move, gets the roll. 
Tania Ladson realizes that the Knowles can hold it for just one shot, and she will do just that. What a strong quarter of work for Florida State, who led by one at the half, 43-42. Twenty-four more points and perhaps counting as Latson drives to the basket and beats the buzzer. The fans here at the Tucker Center behind us were telling Florida State to go, go, go. But tonight Latson knew exactly what she was doing. To be exact, for this game, 51 assists, just 15 turnovers on the season. Florida State has a team in this one, 11 assists to six turnovers. And that's a great way to start quarter number four if you're Georgia Tech. Kara Dunn off the glass and through. Dunn with 18 points now for the Yellow Jackets. Latson has hit a couple of threes early. Snoop Turnage with a big offensive board for the Knowles. The Jetty too strong. A couple of good looks from three-point range for Florida State. Snoop Turnage getting the extra possession for the Knowles. Johnson swinging into the corner for Dunn. Now back up to the transfer from Boston. Tony Morgan looking for a screen. Now on the pick and roll. Blackshear had it knocked away by SK White. And they're going to catch SK for the foul. She put 24 earlier this season against Coastal Carolina. Back to Blackshear. Has a chance here to hit 20 points in this game if this one goes through. And it does. 12-team foul by Georgia Tech to 8 for Florida State. Amari and Gordon off the inbound play, mid-range base. Nice kick back to Dunn. It was a good look for Georgia Tech, but it didn't drop. And here comes Florida State looking to run. Latson keeps it herself. They're on the weak side. Timson puts it back up. Third effort by Timson is good. KK Timson just relentless on the offensive glass. See what she can do here on the defensive end. She'll commit the foul. So I mentioned on the on the flip side for Georgia Tech, Blackshear hit 20 points. Georgia Tech to have a couple of 20-point scores in this game, and they've got them. And now she scored 20 or more in four of the last six games, including today. And she had 39 against Georgia State. That is the most anybody in the ACC has scored in a single game this season. Last foul on Sarah Bajetti, a little too physical there, trying to keep Tony Morgan out. There's KK Timpson asserting herself on the defensive end with a big block. Block leader in the conference, one of the rebound leaders in the conference. Now here's Florida State finding Gordon from the wing. And there's FSU shooting the lights out like they can. They haven't shot as many threes as maybe they have in other games this season, but they have made now six in this game. Steal, keep the ball from getting in the paint. But here's a block on that last possession, which then led to the easy look on the perimeter for Amaria Gordon in transition. Florida State has made each of its last three baskets. They lead by 14. They're gonna call Amaria Gordon here with a hold. Georgia Tech will be in the bonus for the remainder of the fourth quarter. So they'll be shooting free throws for the last seven minutes here of this quarter. And that's big for the Yellow Jackets as they can chip away at this Florida State lead. Florida State going to have to be careful on the defensive end. Every one of those free throws so important for Georgia Tech. Tony Morgan, who's had a hard time with them, comes away with a steal up from Tania Latson. Morgan dishing it to Blackshear, left hand, good. Eight points for Tony Morgan, and now an assist as well. The Jetty, no good. Morgan with the rebound. Six and a half left to play here in regulation. Florida State hanging on to an 11 point lead. Houston Knight to line that one up. It was in and out. Florida State clears the board with Alexis Tucker. That's a big rebound for Alexis Tucker going high to grab that one. And then Amaria Gordon with the circus shot. Despite that, 23 points for last great high-low look. Dunn lays it Posted in. up for a good three or four seconds. And finally, her teammates recognized it, threw it over the top. Get her the bucket with the no moves needed. 
Georgia Tech has 69 points in this game, 44 of those on the floor, courtesy of Blackshear and Dunn. Nia Ladson making it rain from beyond the three-point line. 26 points now to lead all scorers. We've reached a timeout on the floor. Georgia Tech has seen enough. Take another look at that play. Again, OMG. She wears 21 because she told Brooke Wyckoff, I want to be like you. I want my jersey to hang in the rafter just like yours. And uh, KK, you keep playing like that, and your jersey will be there too. Sarah Pagetti is going to be called for the foul on the inbounds play. Tony Morgan's going to head to the free throw line. With no time going off the clock, so Florida State going to have to be uh, a little careful the rest of the game. Morgan, four of six, now make it four of seven. To this point, it's not what you need if you're Georgia Tech, trailing by 14 with 440 left. Meanwhile, for Florida State, Latson, high low look, beautiful pass to Tim. You know what a prolific scorer she is, but she shares the basketball so well. Gets KK Timpson the easy look, and then Florida State aggressive on the defensive end, gets a hand in there, and it's a turnover by the Yellow Jackets. Hey, look. Again, Tanaya draws two Georgia Tech defenders, and that leaves Timpson wide open underneath for the easy lay-in. Georgia Tech tried to hit Dunn on the back cut. And skipped it out of play. There's KK Timpson with an and one opportunity for the Knowles. They have hit full song here in this game against Georgia Tech. I'd say that it's something new, but they have been scoring at this clip from the drop. Watch the emotion here from KK Timpson with the hand slap the chest bump she's feeling it right now the amount of time it takes for you to find your seat or get your hand into the popcorn bag score 20 or more points in each quarter here 23 in the first 20 in the second 26 in the third quarter and already 19 points for the Knowles here in the fourth quarter and we still have four minutes left to go well the bank is open for tony morgan they're open late in tallahassee That'll trim the lead down to 16 with 3.45 left. The Tallahassee native knows the home court roll. The Jenny off the hesitation. Big kick back out to Latson. That is no good. One free throw attempt, but she'll get two here after she was fouled by Kayla Blackshear. You see her attempts have gone down just a little bit like she did last season, but knocks down a pair there. Morgan driving to the basket. Latson, nice dish. Gordon, though, way too strong. Johnson pulls it out. Morgan now looking for the corner on Timpson. She's been the hot hand here for Georgia Tech. Dunn working inside, guarded by Tucker, and Dunn with the right hand. But then Dunn rips it away, spins the other direction, and finishes for Georgia Tech. She's had a nice performance. 24 points now for Kara Dunn. Latson through contact. 30 burger for Tania Latson. Right about at her average from last season, facing the Yellow Jackets. She has scored 30 or more every time she's played Georgia Tech. That is her ninth 30 or more point game in her FSU career. Going to try to take the air out of the ball a little bit here and minimize possessions. Don't see that very often from Florida State. 16-point lead. Tucker from the wing. Why not? Making it rain. It's the eighth made three-point field goal for Florida State right at their season average. Agustinaite. Would represent her first opportunity to break into the scorer's column here in half number two. She leads the ACC in three point field goal percentage, shoots it over 40% a game. Well, Fortin are a little surprised as well. And you continue to enjoy the re emergence of Kara Dunn. This Georgia Tech team is different, and they are going to be a team that's going to give some ACC foes some problems this year. But for Florida State, this is as good a start as you could hope for. Well, and you expect a Georgia Tech team to be a solid defensive team. And last year, they played fewer possessions. Not so this year. They are able to get the ball up the floor quickly and score, as you see there, from Augustinida. 
15-point differential here between Florida State and Georgia Tech. And the Knowles will win it 95-80 to here at the Tucker Center over the Yellow Jackets. With that, the Knowles have won 14 of their last 18 ACC openers. It's a great start for Brooke Wyckoff and her squad here defending home court.